Okay, so this question is called Roman to integer. Uh, they will give you these um, norm. They will give you a string in Roman numbers, and you need to return the number in integer. So this is the symbols that they they, they will use. I is one, V is five, X is ten, and so on. And you can read the question, but I will just go to the examples. So in this example, they give us three eyes, which I um, each eye is one. So the result is three. So first thing you need to do is just to create a map data structure that maps each character, each Roman character to a number. So I is one. I just copied this from here. So I is one, uh, V is five, uh, and so on. So M is one thousand. So this is the map. You can create a map in other languages, but I will just use uh, a normal object in JavaScript. But it works also with map data structure. But let's see this example. So if you just loops about on each character and get the mapped value and just sum it to uh, like a variable and just print it, it sometimes it will be wrong. Uh, for example, this example. So i is 1 and v is 5. So if you sum these two, it will be 6, which is wrong. The correct way to do it, if the current number, so when you, when you in Roman, when they combine two, when you combine a number, a character that represents a number that is less than the next number to it, these two should be combined to another value. So i, v together is 4. i is 1 and v is 5, but together they are 4 because i is less than v. Uh, I think it's the same example here. So i is 1 and x is 10, but because i uh, is less than the next character to it, the value for it, you, you just uh, subtract these two and you will get 9. Uh, this example show. Uh, this example here is normal. So L is um, 5. If L is 50. Which is if you compare to the next character. Uh, it's bigger than. So we just we will just sum it to the whole sum. V is is uh, 5. It's bigger than uh, the next character to it. We will, so we will just sum it. And these three are equal. So we will just sum the mapped values from these. So 58. But this one. M is 1000 the next character to what c is 100 so we will just sum 1000 the next time you will loop c c is 100 compare it to the value with the next character uh, so it's 1000 so we should sum 9000 9, 900 sorry so it's uh, like the value of m minus the value of c so that's that's how we sum cm um, i think that's pretty much it um, to do it, we can uh, start. I I already created this map. I will create a variable called res equal zero, and I will split the string. So split the string by empty character, which me which will retain a ref characters, and for each. Uh, this is the first argument is the number, the the Roman number. And the second thing is the index. And if map of the number, which will return these numbers here, is less than the map of the S of I plus 1, the string. So this is the next character of the, rom the current Roman number. So if this is less, what I will do, I will just subtract the value from the the value of the current number from the result and else I will just uh, add it so map number I think in other languages you need to like move to i minus 1 but in JavaScript it doesn't matter since uh, when we go out the array to return and define and this uh, this condition here will fail and we will just sum the last value which should always be summed so return this uh, okay, so when I run the code, it got accepted. So let me try to submit it. So yeah, it's faster than 69% of the JavaScript submissions and less than 64% of the memory usage. Okay, which is cool. Okay, thank you.